Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to take another look at the MATLAB Integrated Development Environment or MATLAB IDE. And specifically, we are going to focus on the layout of the editor. So you'll notice here that I have one of my scripts from an earlier video. It doesn't really matter which one we have loaded. The idea is that we're going to sort of see how we can customize the interface a little bit. Uh, perhaps you have a second monitor where you're working. Uh, basically, just leverage some of the features in the ID relevant to the layout to essentially improve your workflow. So to begin with, we're simply going to go ahead and run this particular script. Uh, the contents of it, nothing fancy, doesn't really matter so much about that. But you'll notice that I have my workspace over here on the right now, which essentially just tells us what variables are in memory, uh, their value, their class or type, and then so on. Now, and we can click on one of these, and again, which one we select doesn't really matter very much, uh, but you'll notice it's kind of a little bit annoying that the variable workspace overlaps our editor. And again, that might be fine for what you're doing. Uh, what I've seen a lot of students do over the years is they'll simply close this out only to turn around and open it back up. And what I'd like to do is sort of get you to see how you can do this in an alternate way. Well, the first thing that we can do is we can simply just drag very carefully the variables window. And you'll notice here that it allows for us to split the screen vertically. Um, and you'll see then I can have both my script and the variable workspace editor open at the same time. Now we can do the same thing as well with one of our other scripts. Let's say for instance, that we have created a new script function, live script, and we simply grab the tab and then we can split the screen vertically as well as horizontally. And again, this may not be something that you need to do all the time. Maybe you're working on a more sophisticated script, uh, or maybe for instance, you have a extra monitor that you can work with, in which case then perhaps what you will want to do is you can just simply go ahead and pull down the little uh, tab there on, in this case, the variable window. And what you can do is you can simply go ahead and undock it. And in this case, it's popped up over on a second screen that I have. I'm just gonna drag it over here. And this is not going to show up real well in this particular video, but the idea then, for instance, might be that you can then split the screen between two portions of MATLAB. And so you'll see here that effectively you would think of this left portion being on one screen and then maybe an ex have an external monitor and you can drag the variable window over. Again, if you get tired of this setup, you can simply close the variable window. And then the next time when you click on a variable, it will come back up on that external monitor or on that second screen or in that split screen configuration. And then you can simply undo this by simply docking then the variable again. Now, and we're going to go ahead and close this. We can go ahead and close our second script that we opened. And let's just play around for just a little bit. Uh, let's say, for instance, that I goof this up really badly, and for whatever reason, I've managed to, uh, let me go back and open up another script here. Let's say, for instance, that I have split the screen horizontally, or rather vertically here, and then for whatever reason, I accidentally grabbed my workspace and my command window, and I have just royally, royally messed up my view. In other words, I can come down here, I can move my current folder over here, and at this point, you would agree that my MATLAB ID looks terrible and is borderline unusable. Well, that's not a big deal. We can simply go back here to the Home tab. We can go to our layout, and then you can choose which one of these layouts work best for you. Uh, the one that comes out of the box is the default, and it's the three-column layout where you have the current folder over on the left, uh, the editor in the center, the command window on the bottom, and the workspace on the right. And if you want to have a little more customization with respect to the editor, you also have a view associated with the editor, in which case you can simply just select whether you want to have them left, right, top, 
bottom. This allows for you to split a single script into two windows. Uh, this particular script is too short for me to really demonstrate this. You don't have to see this on a, on a longer script. But again, then you can always just simply take and drag the other script back into the first editor window. And you'll see here that we can maintain that split view within a single script or again with multiple scripts. So we want to go back, highlight one more time. We have the home layout and you've got a couple of different options here as far as the layout, how you want to lay it out with respect to your particular arrangement, whether you have a second monitor uh, or just working with a single monitor. You also see that you have the ability to control, for instance, the command history, whether it's docked or popped up uh, currently in this video and also in the previous videos, I've had it simply pop up as you are typing. Um, but again, you can simply select this default if you want to go back to the initial layout as MATLAB was first installed. So hopefully you found this video useful. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out to me. And thank you for watching.